Hello, and welcome to How to Make Chainmail. Um, with these videos, I'm going to be just showing you uh, some different patterns with chainmail and how to make a chainmail suit. Um, it's going to be a tiny bit expensive if you don't have some of the right materials, but other than that, it should be okay. Just need some patience. Well, I'm going to start off with how to make the actual rings you make the chainmail out of. This is how you're going to make the metal springs. You have your mechanism here that you made out of wood. And make sure you have holes drilled in there so the bar fits in. And make sure they're about a quarter inch because the chainmail we're going to be making is a three eighths inch, which is a pretty good size chainmail. It's not too small, it's not too big. So you want the actual hole for this to be a quarter inch so it can slide nice and evenly. What you do is you slide this in, and what I don't have with me is the drill. Now the drill is going to attach here, and what you do next, you take your wire. Now if you buy wire that's spun up, if it's spun up and it's not on a big wheel thing, then you might want to unbend your wire a little. So you go, take your wire, put it through the hole. You want to spin it. Now with a drill, it's going to go so much faster. You can do this by hand. It would take forever, though. Now take your good pliers, well your, yeah, and you go in here, you cut this wire, and you want to take it and spin it, spin it till it gets to right where it goes inside the hole. And see it came right off just like that, and it should slide, it's pretty good. It should slide, but usually when they're that long, they won't, when they're longer, they won't slide. Take it off. It'll be a little bit harder to take it off right here, because this is always getting constantly squeezed by the drill. So you just want to twist that off. And you're going to want to pull it off as hard as you can. Don't do that. That will just make it harder for yourself. Just do it really lightly, and it'll come right off, just like that. I have right here one long spring. What you want to do with this is cut it. I'm going to show you where to cut it. You see right there where it ends? Make sure it doesn't go straight out like that. Like you see it goes straight out a little bit. So just cut that little bit off till it starts to get round. And watch, be careful, cover it with your thumb or your finger because it will shoot. And it, they've hit me in the eye before and they hurt. Now you got that cut. Now you want to you see where that point is again and you want to go and go one ring in if your pliers can't do two or more go one in and you cut that makes a ring like this now once you get good at cutting these it'll go really fast like I can cut them pretty decent like, you set it up, two hands in there, and just be like, Well, that's it for how to make chainmail part one. And in part two, we'll explain how to make the pattern.